Shelly Vigurusa. Grundelislav Games presents A man who is always ready to believe what is told him will never do well. So you'd like to hear about how I got into this mess? Mm -hmm. How a regular guy ended up half a world away, unconscious in the back seat of a car belonging to a guy he thought he could trust, but turned oh. out to be his worst enemy? Well, I'll tell you. Written by Francisco Gonzalez. <laughs> Starring Eric Fierstein as Ben Jordan. Background art and character to animation by Francisco Gonzalez. Music by Peter Gresser. Program by Francisco Gonzalez. Love the animations. GS Engine by Chris Jones. Main title images by Francisco Gonzalez, Matteo Feller, Ben Chandler, and Matt Gardner. Sound effects by Kenneth High. <coughs> God. Queen module by Edmundo Ruiz and Zach Chabte. Bonk. Wow. Can't get over how slick this game is. Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. Hey gamers, welcome back. You're tuning in for the first time. Welcome to my uh, gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, The Meat Geek, Jaguar Warrior. And I'm uh, on the case, uh, Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. I'm case number eight. A, this is a new chapter in the series. Is actually, I believe, it's the final chapter in this adventure game series with Ben Jordan, the paranormal investigator, um, traveling around the world uh, searching for mystical uh, artifacts, and has led him to the. If you watched our final, our final uh, previous episode, uh, Ben Jordan, Part Seven, the Cardinal Sins discovered that the, uh, the Vatican was collecting occult artifacts around the world. For what reason? Power? Wealth? We're not sure. Some kind of sinister uh, conspiracy afoot. But he was knocked out uh, by Percival Quentin Jones and now we're going to continue where we left off with a new game. Here we go. Back, relax. I hope you have your snack. I'm having my granola bar here. Case number eight: Relics of the Past. Is he in the back seat of a car? Dreaming. I see you're awake at last. Whoa. You! You you traitor! Yes, I know you must not be very pleased with me right now. Wow. But I can assure you, things are not as they seem. Hmm. You're one of them. No, I am not one of them. At least, not anymore. You're not? That was many years ago. Oh, really? I was quite another person then. You must believe me when I tell you I no longer have anything to do with that atrocious <coughs> group of individuals. Hmm. I am deeply sorry for what they did to your friend, and I do apologize for the <coughs> way in which I extracted you from their headquarters, but I fear I did not have much of a choice. You had already discovered my name in that book, and I didn't think you were going to come with me voluntarily. So, where are we going? Back to London. I have a flat where we can stay whilst we come up with the next course of action. We're driving back to London? Yes. You are unconscious for most of the journey. We should be arriving in about 30 minutes. How did you even know where I was? All in good time, Mr. Jordan. 
I know you must have many questions, but let me assure you that I will provide answers as soon as we get to our destination. For now, you must relax. You need all the rest you can get, especially considering what you're going to be up against. Just great. So let's click that. Day 1. December 30th, 2004. Okay, we've arrived at uh, Personal Quentin Jones' house. So let's say, um, save our progress. Percival Quentin Jones, EQJ Home. Let's have a little conversation with him. What are you looking at out there? I'm keeping an eye out for any Knights of St. Anthony. Do they know where you live? Mm. Hopefully not. It's a souvenir decorative plate from Romania. You wonder why Percy would have it. It's Percy's criminology degree from Oxford University. That's odd. The ink on the date seems to have been smudged. Our door leads out of the flat into the gloomy streets of London. It's an antique roll-top desk, probably early 9th century by the look of it. Several volumes of text relating to the criminology field. A large overstuffed chair resides in the corner of the room. <coughs> a small but heavy looking statuette of Atlas holding up the world is a Percy's coffee table. Let's have some questions. Let's ask questions to Percival. Professor? Yes, Mr. Jordan. Okay. Uh, explanations. I think you owe me some explanations. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Mr. Jordan. I do. Ask what you must. I will try to answer as best I can. Okay, uh, Knights of Anth St. Anthony. What made you join the Knights of St. Anthony? As I said, it was a long time ago. When I joined, they were committed to a noble cause. Not the twisted shadow of their former selves you know today. What cause was that? They sought to transcend religion, to bring harmony by establishing a common belief system. Hmm. However, once I learned about Cardinal Genovese's true intentions, and the great task, I realized the error of my ways. That is where my association with the Knights of St. Anthony ended. What is the great task? Exactly what is the great task? Cardinal Genovese believes that by gathering relics from different religions, it will somehow empower him. He seeks to control and unify all religions, emerging as their single leader. The problem is, he will stop at nothing to reach that end, as you have experienced. So what happens if he succeeds? I'm not sure. However, I do know he intends to perform some sort of ritual on New Year's Eve once he gathers all the relics. But I destroyed the exorcism amulet. Yes, but Genovese is not the type of man who puts all his eggs in one basket. He had planned to take the exorcism amulet last, because it was the closest to him. However, he designated one relic as an emergency backup in case any of the others were damaged or destroyed. That means he is on his way to the location of the final relic, the same location he will perform the ritual. Do you know where that location is? Unfortunately, I do not. He didn't tell anyone where it was, not even Bianchi. So basically you're saying we've got two days to both find and stop him? I'm afraid so. Good thing I work well under pressure. Nice music. Tell me about Cardinal Genovese. Tell me about Cardinal Genovese. When I first met him, he was a very young, idealistic priest. I'm not sure what happened to turn him into the cold, bitter man he is today. Perhaps you should do some research on him. It is best to know your enemy, as they say. How am I supposed to find anything out about him? I know for a fact he was educated here in London. You may be able to find some records on him somewhere. Any idea where? Well, the British Library is an invaluable source for old periodicals. I would suggest going to the British Museum Reading Room. You can access their database of articles from there. If it's my only lead, I guess it's worth a shot. Um, tell me about yourself. Just, who are you exactly? What do you mean? Let's face it, you haven't exactly been honest with me. All I know about you is that you may or may not be a criminology professor at Oxford, and that you pretty much showed up out of nowhere and have been shadowing me. 
So what gives? Very well. I see your point. It seems a reintroduction is in order. I am Percival Quentin Jones, born and raised here in London, educated at Oxford. You may call me Percy if you wish. I received my criminology degree at Oxford after taking time off to travel the world. Later, I met Cardinal Genovese and joined the Knights of St. Anthony. Are you really a professor? No, I'm afraid that was merely a cover story. Why have you been helping me out all this time? I have been charged with protecting you. Charged with protecting charged? me? Charged? From what? I'm sorry, Mr. Jordan. We simply cannot talk about this right now. Rest assured, I will tell you everything before this is all over. You have enough to deal with right now. I don't want to complicate things further. Okay, fine. But don't think you're off the hook just yet. Uh, relics. Do you know anything about all the relics Cardinal Genovese took? Yes, he started tracking them down many years ago. It was only recently that he began taking them and causing all the paranormal disturbances you've been investigating. I'm not sure I understand all of this. I'll do my best to explain. An object on its own cannot have power. A piece of the true cross has no more power than a tea kettle. However, what gives it power is belief. If the belief in this object is strong enough, then it will gain power. So you're saying if enough people believe the kettle has power, it will gain some kind of magic properties? The kettle won't levitate or cast spells, but it will gain a sort of mystical energy from the belief, yes. Hmm. People do not seem to realize what a great force belief is. Now, if an object with mystical energy is removed, it causes a disruption in the balance of energy around it. If there is another source of mystical energy nearby, the imbalance causes a reaction. In this case, a physical manifestation. So the skunk ape, the lost galleon, the sea people... Precisely. All your cases have related to local myths and legends. When relics were taken from these areas, these things people believed in manifested themselves. But what about Smailholm and Japan? Smailholm was a different story, one I will tell you soon. As for Japan, Bianchi took the tooth of the Buddha which caused an Oni, or Japanese demon, to manifest. This Oni visited Yamamoto and told him of the evil means to acquire great riches. I see. Interesting. Wow, this is mystical science at its best. Excellent. Do you Alice. know what happened to Alice? I, uh, am afraid not. As far as I'm aware, she was not and has not been captured by the Knights of St. Anthony. Unfortunately, I don't know any more than that. Car. Do you think I could borrow that car you brought me here in? I'm afraid that car is not mine to lend. You mean, you stole it? Whoa. From one of the Knights of St. Anthony, yes. Driving around in it would surely make you easier to spot. Therefore, I would advise against it. Fair enough. No more questions for now. As you wish. Alright, we'll save our progress here. Let's grab the statuette. The statuette is surprisingly heavy considering its size. Books. So volumes of, of books. Uh... else we can do here. It would be disrespectful to go through Percy's desk. Besides, there's probably nothing in there that would be of use to you. You already have a degree. Granted, it's in international relations, but you can't just go around taking other people's diplomas. No need for this photograph. This whole photograph of some unrecognizable landscape hangs on the wall. Are you her crabbiness? Let's go out the door then. Okay, well, we're just gonna take a little quick break here. Um, we're let's step inside for a moment out of the rain. save our progress as uh, per Personal Quentin Jones home and uh, gamers like to thank you for watching me play a brief introduction of Ben Jordan case number eight relics of the past we're uh, 
we just started our new adventure in the final uh, episode in the Ben Jordan series. I hope you had a good time watching the beginning of it. We'll continue it on another day. In the meantime, I would appreciate it if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or Google+, all the social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater, to be notified of the latest videos I will be uh, posting. And don't forget to ring my bell to be notified of the latest videos. And check out other links below. Um, I'm your host, Amy Geek. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome week. Stay frosty. And we'll talk to you real soon. Bye. Corbet Graphic Design. At Corbet Graphic Design, the value to the customer is number one in considering the project. Uh, Corbet Graphic Design with Norman Corbet at the helm has been uh, really helping me with my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. He's stripping it down the old, building up the new, and turning it into a very professional looking website. I highly recommend, if you need high quality graphic design and website design, CorbetGraphicDesign.ca. This has been a paid 30 second video ad for one of my patrons. If you would like a 30 second video ad at the beginning, middle, or end of my new videos, become a $25 patron at www.patreon.com forward slash Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history yeah. Go look in the mirror Say, hey, I'm sorry for all the pain I'm sorry for all the pain Go look in the mirror Say, hey, I'm sorry for all the pain I'm sorry Alone, do you say my name or you say her name?